Continuing the theme of uh, family owned and operated businesses in our area in this shop local, shop uh, support local week, Nancy and Rick Turner are here now and they are the owners of Songbird Lane Antiques in Cambridge. And it's their baby, has been for seven years. Seven years now, yep. yep. Now, he, who's the collector? Are you the, the antiques person? That uh, would be Rick. That's uh, Rick. Kind of me, yeah. I should have known. I thought you just worked there, but you were. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> <laughs> Rick always tells me, I just worked there. I don't, you know. But um, this has been fun for you guys to work together. Absolutely. Yes, it is. Yep. Well, uh, welcome to your next season. Because I know you. You, are, you close all winter. Yeah, we, we're open until Christmas, and then we close until April. Okay. Well, let's take a look at some pictures of, from Kay. your place. Um, it's so unusual. I just, I just think it's. What would you say is your biggest specialty, Nancy? What you know, if, you, if people asked, what do you have there? What are you most proud of? Um, well, we like a lot of neat outside things. Like Rick mm -hmm. always finds like these gliders and needle chairs and stuff. And I then we have that. a lot of painted furniture and advertising and. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of everything. Yeah, those um, those painted wooden signs and the tin signs. Mm -hmm. um, the, the the shot they were looking at earlier of the glider and the uh, the lawn chairs. You keep the keep the rust on them, huh, Rick? Yep, rust is good. That <laughs> rust is good. <laughs> that's that's patina. Uh, it's patina. <laughs> I should have known. Of yep. course, it's patina. Yep. Um, and there you are with a big sign. And uh, these so these rocking horses are still really cool, mm -hmm. aren't they? They are. In fact, is, is that the one that you br uh, brought? That today? is the one. Yeah. And we actually sold it yesterday, so we're borrowing oh. it. <laughs> you're borrowing oh, it from, yep. from the new owners. <laughs> yes. So this is the, the spring season with the watering cans and just kind of that outdoor living look. Mm -hmm. um, people are ready for that, aren't we? we ready, are. right? We are so ready. So what did you do throughout the winter? Did you find other items, Rick? How, how did the winter go for you, the break? Well, we've been doing a lot of traveling and we've been finding stuff. I was just at a place yesterday and picked up some great yard, yard art, garden art. A lot of That's colorful neat. gates and stuff and... People love that stuff, and you can never have enough of it if you collect it, right? Right. Yeah. I know, right. <laughs> but you're, you're grateful people get, get enough. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, these pictures we're seeing, you know, the, the one a couple of a uh, few seconds ago of the outdoors, you know, just, uh, just a yard to be filled with that. These are mm -hmm. things you can use for function or things you can just look at and enjoy. Absolutely. Um, how do you know, does everything have an age on it or some things just look vintage? How does that work? Uh, we do see? have some, we do have new home decor and stuff like mm -hmm. that. and. Everything we get, we try to make it look old. Mm -hmm. Although some things are, you know, brand new, and you yep. can tell they're brand new. And this stuff mixes in. Abs I mean, people yeah. are mixing these styles mm -hmm. together, right? So what you brought today, I, first of all, I love this big. I, it, would you call it a planter, or what is it? Exactly? It's just like a big old tote, it's like a tote. tote, like somebody yeah. would have carried their things in it. Is it? Is it old? Yes. Mm -hmm. See, uh, some of these things I can't tell if they were just yep. made to look old or, or they are. Right. Um, as I tilted a bit, I think you guys can see that there are compartments in this side and this side, and then you just put a couple little things in there. But you could put. Mm -hmm. Heck, this could be on your dining room table, mm -hmm. or Absolutely. it could be sitting outside yep. on, on a table like All that. All different kinds of uses. I love your little rabbit family Thank over you. here. Look how sweet these are. You said some, you know somebody who yeah, makes Yeah, uh, a lady in these. Ohio makes those. We buy quite a bit of her okay, handmaids. All right, look, and then this one's uh, holding a little chick. Yeah, see, they're little. kind of grunged up, so they they're, are. they're primitive looking. They're adorable. Thank Wh you. Where do you find all of your things? Like, Rick, when you go out finding, where do you find you know, watering cans like that and bowls and barns and machine sheds and then you know people call us and you know we buy collections from people and uh -huh. it's just I see a, a, a lot of the watering cans yeah. you have a and like a bowl like this mm -hmm. so so what what's the story on this little guy it's just a good old bowl we um, bought it off of a collector down at um, Brimfield Illinois in Brimfield yep. I saw you with that sign it said Brimfield where is that um, it's well, Probably we think that sign might have been from Brimfield, Brimfield Massachusetts. Massachusetts. From the, oh, this yeah. is Brimfield, Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, but this came from Brimfield, Illinois. Yeah. yeah, so would you dare put any food in that? Mm -hmm. uh, no, not put, that no. one. Don't no. put food in no. that. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but you could put fake food in it. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, right? And there's that rocking horse. Yeah. And he's sweet. Oh, look at that tail. Yeah, that's real horse. Horse hair is it really real yep. horse feathers? Yep. As we, as we <laughs> say, right? <laughs> so you guys are ready for your your big day, mm -hmm. which is coming up um, on a, 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 a Saturday, Saturday, April yeah. 9th. Yeah. So uh, what will be going on that day? We'll have like our whole outside. Rick will put the whole yard together, mm -hmm. and then we'll have cookies and drinks oh, and music and just come out and we're out in the country. So it's just a nice drive out in the country, and people just like to come out and. 
uh, flowers. I know you guys get a kick out of people too, right? Just yep. uh, you know, just helping them find things, and uh, they get excited when they see your stuff because not everybody have this has this kind of stuff. Right, right, yeah, they do. They yeah. do. Well, We're kind of known for the primitive look, so. Yeah, yeah, definitely, and it's a really great selection. Thanks for sharing Thank all you. those pictures yeah, because it absolutely. really shows what you have for, well, mainly the outside, but all over, mm -hmm. all over the house, inside and out. It's called Songbird Lane Antiques, and it's in Cambridge. Uh, you heard Nancy say it's out in the country. Uh, let's talk about your name, Songbird Lane. What's that from? We're down a long lane. Um, and we were trying to figure out a name, and there were all these birds singing and flying around, and so it just kind of stuck. Oh my gosh, are they singing yet? For they are. They are. They are. <laughs> so go and listen to the song of the birds. There you go. And then do your do your shopping for uh, for vintage and antique items, and uh, and these two make it happen. Uh, family owned and operated. Good for you two. Thank you. Thank Se you. Seven years. Seven Good years. to yep. see you both. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for having Nancy. us again. Thank you, Rick.